Now, uh, we've been asking you for your questions uh, here at World Ballet Day, live from the Australian Ballet in Melbourne, and this is a doozy. Julia Fontes has asked, what type of healthcare professionals are employed with the Australian Ballet? Well, fortuitous that you asked that question, Julia. I just happen to have a few of them here with me right now. I'll explain why Adam Ball's looking like that in just a moment. I actually have professionals who are going to do that for us, but if I can take my eyes off him, it's just going to be very difficult. <laughs> I have Dr Sue Mays here, the Principal Physiotherapist and Medical Team Manager yeah. with the Australian Ballet. Yeah, now, uh, assisting Adam down there, you can see Dr Jodie McClellan from La Trobe University, uh, and also uh, with us, Professor Jill Cook, who's lurking somewhere back there, also from La Trobe. This is about a very exciting collaboration between La Trobe University and the Australian Ballet. Now, first of all, to take us through a, a bit about your research with what we're going to call the Dance Lab. Uh, Sue, tell us about that research. What's it, what's it for? Okay, so what's led to it is that we've done some research already on the dancers about five years ago, and we MRI'd their hips, and we found that they had really unique hip shape. So if I show you with my femur, the dancers had really narrow necks through this little area. They also had angled, their neck was angled upwards. So this would really facilitate the great range of movement that they have. And they also, their pelvises are actually angled out to the side. So this really helps their turnout. So what we're interested to see is if we can see, um, with this system that we're going to use, we'll have a look at the biomechanics of the hip and the pelvis. So we'd like to compare people that, um, the dancers with, that have maybe this really optimal um, hip shape with us, others that might not. So we'll be comparing the pathology, that they're, they're getting MRIs this week as well. So we'll be able to compare what we see on the MRIs with what we can see in the lab. Okay, now Jody, where yeah. are you? I've got to ask you a quick question. You come in. Come yeah, in sure. Here. Sorry, sorry, Adam. <laughs> as distracting as you are. <laughs> now, Jody. Yeah. What are you doing here? Um, well, we're sticking some reflective markers on Adam, so all over his body. What we're trying to do is try and represent his body, so that when he goes out into the space, we'll be able to see the dots, and from there get a picture of what he's actually doing with his joints. So how they're moving, and when he dances, what what they actually do. Do the dots go back to something or are they hooked up to something apart yeah. from Adam? <laughs> yeah, we see them through the cameras. So we've got cameras that we'll have a look at in a second that are infrared cameras, so they don't see vision, like they don't see Adam, they just see the dots that are on him. Right. Yeah. Now, Jill, come, come, come in close. <laughs> sorry, okay. just one microphone. Oh, we've revolved. Sorry. So, so <laughs> tell me about how this collaboration between the Australian Ballet and La Trobe came about. When the ballet were looking for a partner to partner with for research, the Latrobe came up as one that was excellent in musculoskeletal research. So not only do we have wonderful researchers, but we have amazing facilities such as the cameras you can see that are part of the biggest gate lab in the Southern Hemisphere. From a researcher's perspective, we're so excited about working with these amazing athletes and how it reflects what we see on uh, in other sports, in other sporting fields. And we're really hoping that our research will help us look towards what happens to their health over time and how that might affect members of the community as they age, perhaps in terms of joint health and stuff like that. So this will even be helpful for people like me who just wanted to be a dancer but obviously didn't have the optimal femur hip thing happening. <laughs> I'm blaming that. Eventually, and perhaps your mum and all the other people that are important to you in terms of their health and their joints and their musculoskeletal system. That's great. Okay, well we might, um, we might actually, Adam, I need to ask you a question first. We, we saw you uh, talking to Megan a little bit earlier at yeah. World Ballet Day uh, about, you know, your work with her with rehabilitation. What, what are you hoping to achieve out of this as a dancer? Well, I guess this is just another factor in that whole rehabilitation and knowledge. I think as dancers we just crave more information and knowledge about our bodies and that's got to help us on the stage and to be the optimal athletes that we are. So I guess knowledge is power and I think so the more of this we have, the better dancers will be. So you're happy to do that even though you have to wear a headband like that? Headband <laughs> and be a crash test dummy, but uh, I, guess, I guess so. I have to say, you wear it very well. Okay, well let's go and see how all of this works. So we'll go through in here. Now, we were talking about cameras and these dots on bodies and, and yeah. what they're hooked up to. So I'm going to drag Jodie in with me. Oh, Jared, hi. hi. <laughs> wow. How are you feeling right now? A bit naked. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see you like that. Won't be distracting later when you come back to co-host it with me, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, now we're, we're in the zone where we need to be, aren't we, Jodie? Yeah, so... So take can... me through what's going to happen. Well, there's about 14 cameras around this area, so most of them are the infrared cameras that we were mentioning. And um, so they're going to see the dots that, on Jared, so Jared's also all marked or dotted up. Um, and so on the screen, you can see just a whole pile of dots, really. And what we're going to do, so some dots are in specific places, some are just everywhere. We're trying to represent 
Jared's body as best we can. In dots. Okay. In dots, yeah. All right, so now what happens? What happens now? So now we're going to get Jared to dance, I think. And um, yeah, we're going to measure and record. So the cameras are going to track the dots what, um, when Jared's doing his movements. And all of that goes back to the system and we can get a three-dimensional image on the, on the computer. And from that, we can work out where the centre of Jared's joints are and um, track them. So Jared, what sort of moves are you going to pull now? You're not, you haven't got a microphone, so I'll come to you. <laughs> uh, pretty stock standard. Um ballet exercises, I'm going to be like devil playing to second a lot just and to arabesque to kind of get range and motion of the hips and kind of then they'll show a reading of how flexible or unflexible I am, I guess, in this general hippie area. Okay, well, we'll you go for it. We'll, we'll watch on. So, Jody, the dots on the screen that we're seeing there, this is, what, can you take us through what all of that means, what you can see? Yeah. So at the moment, I'm really concentrating to make sure that we can see all the dots. So we need two cameras to be able to see one dot for us to get an image on the screen. And as you can see, the dots are kind of placed on his legs, so we can vaguely see the outline of his legs and his arms. Um, and what we will do is use that, the position of those dots to mathematically model where his joints are. How long does that take? Oh, quite a while. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the data and, and the different positions. So obviously um, there are some times where we can't see all of the markers and where we need to um, account for that. But it probably takes uh, a few hours. So Jared won't be getting instant feedback on his no, arabesque? No, he, he won't be at the moment. It is possible these days, but um, we're going to take it away and process it later. Yep. Now I know that Principal Amber Scott is the uh, research partnership ambassador for this project. What, what was it like convincing Amber that she should get dotted up? Um, I didn't do the convincing, but <laughs> apparently it was quite easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think Amber was quite willing to, to do some um, research with us. Okay, so now, so now we just see, we're testing your partnering, I, I'm guessing. Okay, all right, let, yeah, let's see that. Yeah, so we're really looking at um, Jared's hips here. So what he's doing with his hips and how he's using his hips when he lifts Amber up. And how does looking at what Jared's hips doing help him as a dancer? Well, hopefully what the information that we'll use, we'll learn more about how dancers actually move. So there isn't a lot of um, research or information that we have about where we can measure so accurately what the movements are. So we'll get more information about how they move and what might be um, potentially be able to be improved so that um, they won't get so injured so much, hopefully. So if you're, say, looking at those dots that we can see on, yeah. on, on the screen there, can you measure the, the stress on, on Jared's body? Yeah, yeah, in a, ba yeah, in a basic sense, absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have any um, force plates here today, but usually that's also another way that we can um, measure and see what kind of impact and force that um, the dancers use when they're landing from jumps and things like that. So a force plate's obviously something in the floor. Yeah, a force plate's something in the floor that measures like the, the ground reaction force, or the force that you land on the floor, on the floor with. Right. Yeah. Jared, could I, I think I can, yeah. I'll come to you, it's alright. I yeah. wonder if I've got no dots. I'm just like being naked in front of the cameras. Uh, so what are, you, what are you hoping to get out of this as a dancer? We know what the research team wants to get out. What are you hoping to get out of it? Um, I'm actually finding this information really intriguing. I like it in the sense that for me, pirouettes, I've always kind of generally struggled with. I'm not a t natural turner. And it, I would find it interesting to potentially use this technology to track people who can just bust out 10 pirouettes like that instantly and try and get a, um, statistics on how they use their body because pirouettes are generally as unique as the ballerina. It's like, it's, like, it's like a fingerprint, you know, everyone does it slightly different, everyone has their own kind of approach to it. So I think it'd be kind of really cool, not just for pirouettes, but like for everything, you know, if someone's struggling with a jump or a lift or something, then you can really kind of use this statistical data to really show what actually really, really works and what doesn't work. So that's kind of like, I'm, I'm really excited. Also, 
I just want to be animated and be put into a Star Wars movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> Actually, I should, I should say, so this is the same system that they used to make um, animation films. So um, I think Planet of the Apes was the most recent one. So it was the same sort of camera system. So we're just using the same sorts of te technology to, um, for biomechanics and learning about the, the body. Oh, good. So Jared, yeah. you might get your wish. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to let you get changed so you can come back to host, awesome. hosting. <laughs> Jodie, thank you so much no for worries. filling us in on all of that. And Thanks. Amber, thank you so much for being the prop, I guess, for, for Jared. <laughs>